Hello, in this video I'm going to create a wall calendar. From the home page, I pick calendars. We offer two basic types of calendars, wall and desk, with variations within each type. I'm interested in a wall calendar size 8.5 by 11. I select it. That takes me to the calendar page with more detail and options. I have the choice of sizes and types. I leave it as is and pick the starting month. Here I also get to browse the many calendar designs that we have. There are main design categories with several designs under each. Each calendar design comes in a set of 12 for the 12 months. I can pick a design and page through it to see what it looks like for each month. I can also enlarge the design set to see the detail before I decide on one. I really like this one. I pick that and make it. First, let's walk through the basics of this tool. If you've done photo books on Snapfish, this is similar to the book builder. In the toolbar to the left, I have photos, layouts, designs, backgrounds, and embellishments. The border tool allows me to add a border to any photo. And I have the text tool for adding text. To page through the calendar, I can use arrows, like so. Or I can jump to any month from the top. I can change the view to show the month photo page, the month date grid, or both as in a spread. I also have the zoom tool up here if I need to see more detail. Now let's build our calendar. First note that depending on the design, some pages might have sample text. For example, the cover in this design says Our Family. I don't really want a title for this calendar, so I delete it. First I bring in the photos I want to use. I go to my photos, select them, and add them to the builder. It asks me if I want to autofill. This will fill the calendar with the selected photos. I say yes. It's much easier and faster to autofill. If I don't like something, I can always adjust or change it manually. I page through and take a look at what autofill generated. It looks good. I jump to June. I want to add another photo here. To get a nice layout, I turn on Auto Arrange to automatically lay out the photos as I add them. Alternatively, I can just shuffle the page until I get a layout I like. I can also make edits to individual photos, like rotate, crop, resize, and add borders to it. Next I add my special dates to the calendar. If I've created calendars on Snapfish before, the tool has already stored my dates. I can use the Date Option tool to import any or all of my dates. I also want to add a birthday for July 20th. I go to the July Date Grid page click on the day, add a photo, and some text. I'm happy with my new calendar, so I save it under a name to remember. I go to preview to look through it and add it to cart. That is all in calendars. Creating desk calendars is also quite similar to this. Try one out. Thank you for watching.